bu kişi Perhans. Welcome to my February wrap up part one. Uh, in this video, uh, I will uh, talk about the six books that I finished in the first half of uh, the month. Like I did in the previous uh, wrap up videos, I will insert the clips uh, that I recorded uh, very soon after I finished those works. Today is the 4th of February. I finished uh, the book that I was reading for my book club. Uh, a Turkish modern classic. Dokuzuncu Hariciye Koğuşu by Peyami Safa. In this book we follow a 15 year old boy who is struggling uh, with uh, bone cancer in uh, 1910s uh, uh, during the First World War in the Ottoman Empire. And from uh, his uh, diary entries we learn about his feelings and his time uh, during uh, that treatment, uh, during uh, the hospital, and uh, also his obsession uh, with an older girl, the daughter of a family friend of his parents. Although this book was written in 1930, I found the structure of the book very, very modern, especially compared to, uh, to the contemporary works uh, that were written in the newly founded Turkish Republic. Uh, because uh, the author also suffered uh, from uh, bone cancer when he was a teenager and uh, also uh, went to treatments and uh, got in and out of the hospitals. The parts uh, about uh, the character's health felt uh, so real and uh, also his descriptions uh, were uh, quite accurate. Uh, one of my book club friends actually said that uh, she could uh, feel uh, the smell of the hospital with his very realistic descriptions. Sort of obsession slash love story uh, was a bit over the top for me, but considering the entries belonged to a 15 year old boy, it was actually uh, quite accurate. You know how important young love is uh, when we are teenagers. Overall, uh, this was a quite pleasant read for me, and I gave Dokuzuncu Hariciye Koşu by Peyami Safa a 7 out of 10. Today is the 10th of February, and I finished uh, one book late yesterday night, and uh, one book this morning. The book that I finished yesterday night uh, was All I Want uh, for Christmas is a Vampire by Carolyn Sparks. Uh, this is the uh, fifth book uh, in uh, Love at Stake series uh, and uh, I'm bad reading this uh, series with uh, Amy at Zobek and in this book in the series uh, we follow uh, Tony whose best friend has been attacked uh, by the uh, malcontents, uh, the evil vampires and when her mental uh, stability is questioned Tony decides to prove uh, that uh, vampires do exist and when she is attacked by another uh, malcontent uh, she is uh, rescued and given a uh, job by our uh, familiar vamps uh, and Tony decides uh, that it would be easier to prove that uh, vampires do exist. However, uh, when she meets Ian who is a very sexy vampire and uh, is uh, trying to uh, find uh, the uh, love of his life by dating vampire woman only she finds out that like mortals uh, some of the vampires have a heart of gold and while they become friends Tony and uh, Ian try not to act on their attraction uh, like all of the books uh, in the series uh, this book was uh, very very uh, enjoyable to read and uh, there were some scenes uh, which I uh, laughed out loud. Also the slow burn romance between uh, the couple and uh, their uh, quite sexy scenes uh, were quite impressive. But the most enjoyable part of the uh, book for me were the side characters. Uh, some of them were hilarious and uh, some of them had uh, great uh, complex uh, characteristics. I think what Carolyn Sparks does best uh, is to warm uh, the side characters uh, to us uh, throughout the series so that uh, when their uh, time for romance uh, comes uh, we would be much more interested in their stories. Uh, last but not least, but reading and exchanging our thoughts about this book with Amy uh, was great as usual. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that uh, we decided to read uh, this series together. But overall, I gave All I Want for Christmas is a Vampire by Carolyn Sparks 
a seven out of ten. And uh, the second book uh, that I finished uh, was the audio book that I was uh, listening at the same time with the Carolyn Spark book. The second book in uh, Fly the Bright Mystery series, A Trace of Poison by Colin Cambridge. In this book, we are following the friend and uh, maid of Agatha Christie, Fleda Bright. Like in the previous book, uh, Fleda uh, dives into a murder investigation involving a priest who has been tasked to uh, announce the results of writing competition of murder uh, story in Agatha Christie's town. And in the event called Murder Fest, uh, in which uh, members of the detection club, including, uh, of course, Agatha Christie, uh, J.K. Chesterton, Uh, Dorothy L. Sayers and Anthony Berkeley uh, were also a guest of. In the first class, uh, it looks like uh, the priest has been accidentally uh, poisoned, but uh, when uh, more murders and suspicious accidents do happen in the following few days, tries to uncover uh, this uh, very, very complex mystery. This series uh, is uh, a delight to read for me. It is very, very endearing uh, to read. Uh, a mystery uh, from uh, a writer who clearly loves uh, Gatha Christie and Golden Age mystery as much as uh, I do. And I loved how uh, the uh, books of uh, these great authors uh, were mentioned so casually in the book <laughs> because uh, they were a part of Flade's life. The uh, mystery in this one uh, was uh, quite complex. What made this uh, series uh, extra special for me is the character of Pilada. She is a delightful character. The events are told mostly from her point of view, uh, which is uh, quite hilarious uh, because uh, although she is very, very prim and proper, she is also a great lover of mystery. I love how her calm demeanor completely collapses uh, in the uh, very broad shouldered and handsome Bradford and his adorable dog. Overall, uh, I gave this uh, very, very fun mystery book, um, A Trace of Poison by Colin Cambridge, uh, an 8 out of 10. Today is the 12th of February and uh, I finished uh, another audiobook today, the fifth book in Lexi Baker's series, uh, Brownies, Buddies and Bad Guys. In this book, uh, Lexi uh, is uh, now an engaged woman and uh, preparing her wedding with her police officer boyfriend, Jack. And when an ex-mobster is found uh, dead in Lexi's uh, grandmother's uh, elderly facility, she is at first very reluctant uh, to investigate the murder with uh, her uh, grandmother uh, and her uh, three friends uh, from the facility. But however hard she tries, she finds herself more and more uh, drawn uh, to the mystery. I liked this book more than the previous book in the series, uh, which was uh, more fo focused on the romance and uh, less on mystery. This one actually had a uh, more complex mystery than all of the other previous books. And I love the uh, grandmother and her gang. Uh, trying to solve uh, murders uh, by just using their iPads. They are very, very funny. Uh, also uh, admirable, uh, to be honest. Although some scenes were uh, sappy and cliche, they were also uh, quite funny. Uh, so overall, uh, I gave uh, Brownies, Buddies and Bad Guys by Leyhan Dubs a 7 out of 10. Today is the 13th of uh, February and uh, I finished uh, two books today. Uh, the first book uh, that I finished uh, was a short story collection belonging uh, to uh, Ark of a Side series, uh, Gleaning by Neil Shusterman. We read uh, one short story each day uh, from the beginning of the month. All of the short stories, uh, like the title suggests, involved some kind of gleaning and uh, took place in uh, different Uh, locations, as well as uh, very different uh, timelines uh, in the trilogy. So uh, it was uh, great to remember uh, some of the events uh, that happened uh, because I, I completely fell in love uh, with the world building of this series and uh, the first book site uh, was my favorite book of last year.
I rank the stories uh, with ratings ranging from 6 out of 10 to 9 out of 10. The two short stories uh, that I rated 9 out of 10 were A Martian Minute and uh, The Persistence of Memory. Martian Minute especially it was a great insight into a, a character that we actually despised uh, in the uh, trilogy. The body reading experience was great again. Uh, I just love body reading books with Gaia. Uh, we plan to body read uh, more books together. Uh, as much as we can uh, because the average rating of the story is equal to 7.7 .7 out of 10 uh, i gave a uh, gleanings by neil schusterman an 8 out of 10 and uh, the second uh, book that i finished uh, was an e-arc that i received from nat kelly sisters with a side of greens by michelle stimson and uh, this book will come out uh, at march 5th in this book, we follow uh, two sisters, Rose and uh, Marvina, uh, who are estranged from each other uh, over a, a dispute uh, with $40. When Rose earns retirement uh, from the post office uh, that she has been working uh, for 35 years, she decides to pursue the dream of uh, opening a, a restaurant uh, with her sister. But when she goes to her sisters, uh, she finds out that uh, it is uh, much harder uh, to uh, connect with her because uh, they have grown uh, so much apart uh, in those years. And they truly discover what each other wants uh, and they are forced to stay uh, because uh, of a, a pregnant uh, teenage girl whom they promised they would look after legally. Uh, this was uh, a really good surprise for me, uh, although uh, I thought I would uh, like this book, uh, I never thought uh, that uh, I would be so affected uh, by the uh, characters' uh, complexity and how realistic the characters were. I wanted to uh, find out what would happen to them and I cared uh, so much uh, for these three women uh, to uh, find uh, their own happiness. Uh, the writing style uh, was uh, very, very good. And I will uh, certainly read uh, more books uh, from Michelle Stimson uh, if I come across any of them. Overall, uh, I gave Sisters with a Side of Green by Michelle Stimson an 8 out of 10. So those were the six uh, books that I finished in the first half of February. Uh, please comment down below have you read any of the books uh, that i mentioned in this video and what did you think of them uh, if you're a new viewer uh, first of all welcome uh, please like and subscribe hope to see you very soon bye as for turkish word of the day i'm going to choose sister sister means kız kardeş in turkish and kız kardeş is our turkish word of the day have a good day